Good morning, ladies and gentlemen from the club. My name's Vic Crennan, um, and I'm taking on the position of Chief Judge for our show of excellence this year, uh, which will be held at the Belmont Rolfer Range. Yeah, the Triumph Car Club are putting it on. And this video is to just instruct or give some people an idea of how we do our judging for said show of excellence. There's only five categories, it's not super hard, and uh, you are judging your uh, club members' cars, so you can be as critical or as not. It's not a concourse d'elegance, it's just a show of excellence. Um, most, of, most of our you members always look after your vehicle, so we don't have to go to that stage. Uh, but it's a fairly simple process, and we're just going to run through it so everyone's on the same page. As the vehicles arrive, they will be handed an envelope with five scoring sheets. Now, it's the owner's responsibility to fill out the five scoring sheets with their name, vehicle information regarding model and kilometres, and that'll be handed to a runner later on to go back to the scoring centre. When it comes to scoring your own vehicle or, or, or judging your own vehicle, there's a two-person team so one one the owner of the vehicle would step aside and the other independent would judge that vehicle and the same goes around they come around to the other judge's car because we'll all be judging our own cars at one point or not or another so um, and then the sheets will go back to the scoring centre and we can go from there with it yes there's five there's five sections to judge we have interior, exterior, engine bay. We have boot, wheels and tyres. And then we have glass and regalia. Uh, they're the five sections. There's two judges per section. So we basically need two judges and maybe a couple of spares. It's not difficult and everyone will uh, have a good day, I hope. It's not hard work. It's just being on the ball. The first section will be interiors and there's uh, half a dozen things we look at. So you just go along, you open the doors, have a look at ceilings, or your hood linings, your dashes for anything like that. In the seats, how well it's presented, whether it's clean. Floor mats, if they've got secondary floor mats on them, have they cleaned underneath? Is there any lint or anything under the seats? It all comes down to those sort of things. If you look at it and think, well, oh, looks clean, is it? One of the important parts of it is, is the fact that there's a bottom section on this sheet that shows preparation for show and that shows the diligence of the vehicle's owner, just how well they prepared the vehicle. On the sheet it goes from one, which is poor, to seven, which is excellent. I think most of our judging will be in the higher areas. But once again, we have to be critical. We can't just walk around and give everyone sevens because that just doesn't work. It just mucks up the whole situation. So we have to be critical to a point, but it's not difficult to have a good look. Uh, is it lint under the seats or they haven't vacuumed their seats correctly? Things like that, that you know, you can be a little bit um, pedantic about and say, well, you know, they haven't quite done that. Now we come to one of the hardest parts to, to, to judge is, is exterior. There's a larger section in exterior, uh, but when most of us see a vehicle that we like, it's how things fit and how things look on the vehicle. Uh, in this section, we'll look at, say, the bonnet condition, um, where it's got glazing from the heat, from heat shields and stuff, or it's not fitting correctly into the corners. Uh, the grill and the kidney surrounds, very important on a BMW, is the fact that how the grill looks. We've all had conversations about the latest ones. The paint and, and how it's been polished or it's, it needs a cut and polish and stuff like that. These items will be discussed between the judges and you make a decision on whether it's a, a five or a three or a four and you go from there with it. Does it look good for its age and that sort of thing. Has it got the old supermarket scrapes and stuff on it? You talk about that, okay, that's the vehicle's age, maybe. Or is it the fact that the owner doesn't care about it? That all comes into how they look after their vehicle. The lights and all those sort of things. Are they glazed 
or anything like that. Once again, it's discussed in the judging. Uh, the last section of that is the polish quality and, and added preparation. Have they gone above and beyond? And it, it's a discussion between the two judges as to the preparation and, the, and how it's been presented. Okay, our next section is wheels and boot. This is fairly simple. It's just, we've got to get down and have a bit of a look. With that, it's fairly simple on, on the sheet, front and rears. With most of the BMWs, the wheels, both sides, oh, front and rear are different sizes. Only in width, not in diameter. They've got 19s or 18s or 20s. But quite often the rear wheel width is wider. That, that's not a problem. The only, only thing is you have to make sure of one, is the rim clean? Just externally, it doesn't have to be done on the inside of the spokes or anything like that. We only look at the exterior. And as people are traveling, when they get there, their wheels will be dusty. So we take that in consideration, unless they're covered with three inches of mud. The presentation, we look for gutter rash or anything like that, or if they change the wheel and they've got chips in the wheel, I've got one there, which I'm not really happy about, but that happens. Make sure that the tyre brands are all the same. You know, if they're all Dunlops or Pirellis or Michelins, make sure they're all the same. And as I said before, the tyre sizes will be different front to rear. The other thing with this is we will not be looking for spare wheels or anything like that because a lot of the newer BMWs do not carry spares. So we're not bringing that into the calculation. Once again, it's, it's the preparation. Have they cleaned the exterior? Some, some will take their wheels off and wash the insides, spray their, uh, their calipers. Um, that's okay. It all comes into the preparation for the show. So once again, it's that number from one to seven and how diligent they've been with how they prepared their vehicles. Okay, engine bays is the next category and uh, it comes down to basically how much dirt's in there, how clean they are. They, they clean, most of the guys, if they clean their car externally and internally, will do their engine bays. What we're looking for is basically how well they've presented it, whether it's been degreased and then uh, lacquered. Given the age of this vehicle, for instance, we can see a few bits and pieces of the wiring is broken away, things 30 years old. We understand that. This vehicle, because of its age, fairly accessible with everything you see. You can see your inner guards a lot better. You can look down and see the uh, underfloor, the under, under engine covering to see if there's any oil and stuff down through there. Um, with your water fittings, is there any um, leakage or anything like that? We look for the information stickers on the car, uh, refrigeration, uh, all those sort of things that are still there. Um, the rocker covers, if you can see them, any oil seepage, you can pick that up. Uh, it's not hard. If they've degreased it, you won't see it. Um, the inner guard walls, are they clean? No oil residual. Um, your bonnet liner, your heat protection here. This is fairly ancient. It's still intact, which is amazing. Um, the newer ones, aren't as thick as this and probably aren't as good. That's what we look at, just make sure that there's, uh, if anything's been added to it, is it look, does it look tidy and professional or has it been um, dodgy brothers thrown in there? We don't do that. So we just look for those sort of things and judge accordingly. And once again, it's, it's uh, how well they've prepared. If they've done a good job on the interior, the exterior, the engine bay, nine times out of ten should be up to the same sort of standards. Okay, our next subject is club regalia and glazing. This is all your glass and your club stickers that you receive when you become a member. The glazing, it's internal and external of course, whether there's any chips in the seals or anything like that, all has to be judged. It's not a big section, it's only one to three, but overall you look at it, can you see inside out when they have cleaned it? Have they left cleaning haze on it? Once again, that's a discussion between the two judges. Comes back to your preparation once again. When you do your, your glazing judging, um, see if the windows are down and just check the top edge of where they clean. And quite often, if they used a certain glass cleaners, they leave a slight smear along there and they're not cleaned correctly. That's about it. With the club 
regalia as far as stickers and badges go. The newer members, because we are changing the club insignia, they are in the process of changing. Um, those that don't have them, I'm afraid we can't do much about it. The service books. The newer model vehicles don't have service books. They have the handbooks, which still should be left on the passenger seat so we can see that they're there. Um, if your service book's there, if you're the pre-2000, roughly, 2010s, mine has a service book. Um, so you just leave them there so we can see them, that they're there. As I said, with the club stickers and stuff, we'll um, use the older ones, judge on those, on the newer members that don't have them, they're in the process of coming. So please bear with us and we'll get them to your ASAP. Okay, so we've covered our five sections and uh, it doesn't take long. We have 35 cars to do, so we will still get time to go and look at everybody else's vehicle and there'd be heaps of Matt at that, at, at that show. Um, I must reiterate that when you come across your own vehicle to judge, the assistant, your assistant has to judge that vehicle on their own merits, on its own merits on their own, just step back, let them do it, because when you go to the next vehicle or three vehicles down, it could be their vehicle. You get the opportunity to do their vehicle on your own. And there shouldn't be any interaction as to, well, my car's better than your car. It's just on the judging of it. Um, and go from there. Make it easy, don't make it uh, hard or anything like that. If on the day you have any problems, with, with any item that you're not sure about, please contact me either on the day or before the day, but you won't know what you're looking at until the day. I'll be there, I'll be judging vehicles. Just my phone will be on. If you have a problem, ring me. Um, I'll get Gary to put the uh, phone number up and we can go from there. If there's a drama, just please contact me. We don't want you standing there for an hour. Oh, I don't know what to do because you still have to enjoy the day itself. Okay? That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching.